Hundreds of veterans attended the 10th annual military job fair at TPC today. The players in Jacksonville Military Veterans Coalition held the free events. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashaway stopped by to speak with folks about why this event means so much to Jacksonville. Terrace Britt has been in the U.S. Navy for nearly 20 years. I'm an aviation ordinance man. The 38-year-old man retired uh, this July. Is looking for opportunities. My first official job fair. I've, I've always been in the military since I graduated high school, so just trying to get that uh, the feel for uh, or, or what to do. What do you want the public to know about veterans and why they should hire veterans? We kind of got a transition from you know, thinking like a, a military member to, you know, civilian, to the civilian sector. So just, I guess, just giving us a shot, you know, uh, and basically helping us in the areas that we're lacking. This is why the Jacksonville Military Veterans Coalition and the players have teamed up for the 10th annual Military Job Fair at TPC Sawgrass. They know about teamwork. They've been subjected to a lot of changing and quite frankly, dangerous uh, positions and opportunities. So they get, don't get flustered easily. They show up on time, they do their work, they know how to work independently and in a team setting. And that's really all you can ask for in any, any environment. Among law enforcement agencies and national companies at the event, Rick Mullaney, the director of the Jacksonville University Public Policy Institute, was there to provide information on graduate opportunities. Particularly with veterans, they add a special dynamic in the classroom. Some of our students are straight out of undergraduate school, some are public sector employees, some are dual degrees, but our veterans bring a whole life of experience that really adds in the classroom. And by the way, their background is well suited for graduate study in public policy. Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.